yo yo what's going on everyone it's tk and today as you guys requested i'm going back to e dragons and see how this strategy does in the karen meta so without any further ado let's dive in okay first base we have this box base right here and it is quite toxic now i'm not gonna lie these bases do seem like you know they are meant to defend the e dragons or the dragons coming from the sides of the base or complete opposite side with a blimp but that's why i'm here to show you the easiest method with the super dragons or sorry e-dragons and it's gonna be the blimp yeah the blimp you just spam and send the blimp simple as that now what i'm going to do is to send the queen somewhere that if she goes in the base she's not gonna pull the cc both e-dragons on some sides and then we're gonna go with a few loots then the line of the e-dragons i have the warden on the raid gem on some of the attacks and i have it on the healing tome on some of the other attacks and look at this we're gonna rage as of course going into the scatter and then of course you have another rage for the town hall cc comes out it's an electro titan tornado trap pulls us now here is where you can invest the freeze but you know i invested it a bit late now take a look at the dragons in the core i'm gonna rage the area where they get closer to the cc building that's important my queen died i have the king on the lower side at the moment the cc goes down this is where then you decide, okay, do I send the champion on the lower side or the top side, which in this case, because my queen is dead and the dragon just died, I'm sending the champion to clear out the things that the king cannot reach. Simple as that. We got one freeze and I'm going to invest it on my champion so she can keep her ability, but unfortunately the fox died. It's now here where you can go with the king's gauntlet ability, or if you want, you can actually have the barbarian puppet. It works also really good, but the king's gauntlet is just on another level, and honestly, it's one of the best, so keep that running. We have the king tanking for these two, and of course the basically ground targeting defenses which doesn't matter that much we got three super dragon alive and actually two by now but still we make sure we got that base done let's move on to another hit okay here we are on a diamond base and it's quite interesting because look at the core if you go from kind of opposite side your dragons may never go to the core but what i wanted to do on this one was again to kind of blim the town hall but depending on the sweepers i want to choose the angle of my dragons so the sweepers are pointing outwards you don't want to fly directly into them you can at least fly a bit around them that's what i wanted to do so loon on the top side of course on the kind of three o'clock side with the baby drag we got the queen always drop first because she knows the way don't drop the king too fast okay you're gonna make sure the queen then goes wrong this way the queen always path to the lower side then i'm gonna go with one e dragon on the lower side and then the rest they're gonna come back together we're gonna go with the rage of course again for the scatter shot but after our warden ability one rage i dropped for that gold storage but it was a bad rage i'm not even gonna lie we are gonna rage the town hall we got a super minion coming out of cc maybe the rest is rocket loons which is bad for the root riders but in this case Look at the way we went to the core. Queen and King made a beautiful funnel and then the blimp and the e-dragons made a beautiful funnel. So we now are just freezing the monolith, the core, the air heroes. Those are the spaces that you need your freeze. But as you can see, this is where the moment you got this core and the town hall, the back end is never an issue. You always have spells. You always have at least three heroes alive in our case we got four and warden is helping with the multi inferno but in general you can see the hero equipments will clear the rest we got the hog puppet on this attack i'm attacking in two accounts so one of the accounts i don't have the hog puppet upgraded that much so i'm using the shield and the haste vial you can use the shield and the haste wall and you can use the haste vial and the hog puppet up to you both of them works really good but personally i believe the hog puppet is better now i wanted to show you another kind of toxic diamond base because look at those rages they are insane they cover literally so much and imagine if you were to kind of go opposite side root rider it would be tough i'm not saying you might fail but with the dragons there's four ground expo which they don't care they're just gonna run through but look at the angle again of the sweepers you don't want to go opposite side you want to go directly into the town hall and here is where i'm actually going to kind of try my best to get the town hall with one electro dragon but guys i'm literally probably one of the worst e-dragon attacker ever because look at that rage man 
it's not gonna work and i keep on freezing it's not gonna work as well guys i mean i'm not here to tell you i'm the best player in e dragons i'm really not so this is just out of completely out of um well what you say experience now i drop a loon because this is where i was like let's just blimp the town hall without anything else because there is nothing around it we don't need to rage it and here's where we go again with the queen then the e dragons we're gonna go with maybe the double rage or maybe not yes the double rage we're gonna go like that and then i add the king but i'm sure the queen is fine now take a look at the core this is where you freeze for the single freeze for the monolith and rage where the cc is exactly the same method as a box space so freeze for those defenses i unfortunately missed that freeze on the single inferno you went down but keep on freezing until you get the cc now this is then depending up to you do you want to keep going with your dragons or you want to keep them just dying and keep your freezes for the royal champion this is a question you need to ask yourself the moment you take down the cc if your dragons are worth the spells go for them rage and freeze for even one electro dragon that will give you a lot of value but again look at the back end the moment you get the core even if you lose all eight um eight dragons you're still gonna be fine because the back end is always like crushable with your hero equipments simple as that king goes in and especially with the open walls you have access to everything but still we have one wall breaker in this army which if you take a closer look sometimes i'm actually using it with one wall break you have so much value to sometimes not have your heroes on the outside of the base as simple as that we got this base absolutely crushed with our you know back end heroes as well let's move on to another box base now this box face was a bit interesting i'm not gonna lie because look at the sweepers you can't e-drag in the town hall straight you can't e-drag from lower right side because of the left sweeper so i'm going in with a flame flinger and then because the town hall area has a lot of you know defenses i really want to have one or two e-dragons moving to that side which in this case if you take a closer look i'm taking out these small buildings while my flame flinger is going to reach the air defense that's the key you want to get that air defense done and dusted and then move on to starting your e-dragons so let's keep on watching the flame flinger it's gonna go and take out the wizard tower this is where again if you look at the cc i'm not gonna drop my heroes on the lower side especially when i have the flame flinger already there so i'm gonna have the heroes on the top side even though there is a lot of damage with rage towers expose and enemy heroes but they're gonna get good value i'm dropping the king asap because of the expo now we're gonna go in with the dragons and we don't have a blimp here so make sure you go ahead and have those dragons going to the lower side look at that one each dragon went lower a few went to the middle one went to the top this is why you go with the dragons in a wider line in such bases and look at the core going into rage that inferno i'm uh, sorry rage the um, dragons and freeze the monolith we have the king's gauntlet going off one e dragon go for the town hall that is enough you can you know pop the rage or pop the freezes i'm freezing also the enemy queen and look at the other rage i'm freezing the single inferno because these dragons are worth it i'm keeping them alive because look at that chain the same e dragon is getting me the inferno and the entire side of those compartments and also maybe the multi archer tower oh no it didn't go down but it's fine and this is where i really wanted to swag my champion but i don't know guys i don't know is it worth it is it not i'm not sure but i'm going to use the spells to keep the queen alive that is for sure because she can take me down those back end defenses where my dragons don't have to go there simple as that and we swag the champion that's how strong those rages in the core and the freeze spells are even though the base did look toxic it even had two air expos which not a lot of the bases have and that's how simply we got this base done this strategy is so powerful and it's basically underrated like underrated and i don't know why people don't use it much but the rouge riders could get a nerf and what i mean is basically if the rouge riders get a nerf you can use this strategy even though it could get baited with a decent cc or a decent placement of seeking air mines which we call sam um, but yeah in general again we're going in with a flame flinger on this one don't worry the flame flinger is not meant to make the attack a bit more complicated it's just meant to take down one of the air defenses that are so much to the side where you know if you make a line 
of dragons one or two dragons will go to the town hall just like the last base and on this one is the same now i'm gonna go ahead with the queen again on the lower side because if you take a closer look the queen can actually take down the eagle which is a good thing now are we gonna wall break the queen I don't really think so. I'm not sure I might do it because the attacks are recorded a long ago because I was trying to get this video for you guys for a long time and uh, I don't know about update if it's coming today but still I'm going to wall break that queen so she can give me that inferno as well. Raging the core, freezing the witch. This is a CC that is so annoying. The witch CC but look at the dragons on the lower side. One rage for him. He's gonna go ahead and maybe take me down the town hall, but a sweeper unfortunately pushed us back, and that could be a problem. Now, look at this. I'm not freezing, I have four freezes, but I didn't freeze the core and the area of the rage tower because it's not necessary. The dragons were going to die, and I'm going to freeze the town hall of this area. And now, the flame finger and one dragon can take me down, so no need for more freeze. King ability goes off, of course he dies, but still we got the royal champion and three free spells which we can use on the back end. And this is how overall the free spells can get used and not just spamming for the e-dragons. As you saw, the moment I knew the e-dragons are about to die, I kept the freezes for the champion. So now the back end, the queen and the loons and the dragons can easily get it. Hopefully you like this video and the way I explained all the spell placements and the way we start our attack. But in general, I mean, I'm not the best e-dragon player. Probably I missed a lot of stuff. But hopefully again, you enjoyed it. Come back tomorrow for more videos and update videos maybe. I'll see you on the next one. Take care and peace.